Okay, well, I finally, uh, got home and got the gentleman in his frame. I, uh, went over to the, when I got to the store, the little hobby shop, the frame I originally was looking for was not on sale. It was supposed to be on sale, and it just was not on sale anymore. And, I mean, I guess I could have pushed it, you know, because of it being, um, online that it was that price but I said ah you know I'll just look for something else and to be honest I found this and I liked it better I saw it and I said this is gonna look a lot better with what I've got and I really think it does I mean it's got this wooden piece inside of here and then sorry about my hand being in it but there's a lot of glare on here so there's just not much I can do I'm trying really hard not to get myself in it but it's so hard because, I mean, even with, if it, if it was non-glare glass, there would still be some kind of glare on it. Um, I found this instead, but the thing about this frame, it was going to take all my money to buy it, even though it was on sale. So, guess what? I ended up having to walk <laughs> the whole way there and the whole way back. And the way back was actually carrying this, of course. <laughs> I ended up walking 6.9 miles round trip. It took 2 hours and 33 minutes between 10.07 a.m. when I left here and when I got home at a quarter after 1 p.m. And that's with me backtracking to film stuff I thought was pretty and filming that beautiful little brick house where I had to cross the street and jump up on the, uh, the wall that was set into an embankment there to get a better view and all the junk that I was doing on my way over there. You know, back again, I didn't film any things. I was like, yeah, you know, why bother? But, you know, I did stop to, you know, take off my jacket and brush my hair, which is just was all in knots and shit and looking horrible. Damn, I'm hungry. <laughs> I guess so after all that shit. <laughs> anyway, I'm real proud of this, man. This is fucking awesome. I mean, it really is. Damn, I hate my picture, my face in the damn thing. Shit, sorry folks, I'm sorry that my face is stuck in it. Sorry. There's just nothing I can do. There's just so much glare on it. But I, I just think that it's so, it, it's a beautiful, beautiful signature, and it's a beautiful portrait. It's actually a still from a movie, I believe. Made from a still from the movie. Because I, I remember um, this being the first time the gentleman appears to Mr. Norell in the series, and, and he's wearing... You know, this really cool. Jacket with the leaves on there. Which I've thought of actually making something like that. So, you know, years ago. When I was into cosplay. And I just thought this was really wickedly cool. Beautiful looking thing. You know, I'm real proud of it. I'm real proud to have it. I did not like the signature being. Ending up being under under anything. On here. But, uh. By the time I got it all together, you know, I realized that it would be just too much, it would be more trouble than it was worth to try to change it, to go in there and change it, you know. But this just ended up turning out just to be, oh, God, there's my face. Sorry about that. I got a sunburn, too, and, I mean, you could tell. I actually did get a sunburn out there doing this. Oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I could do that. But I did it. Usually I only would go one way and then and then ride the bus back and I'd be tired from doing that. To be honest with you, I'm fixing to go do some yoga here when I get done filming this to work all the kinks out of my body from having walked over there and back. But I've stepped up my exercise, you know, really quite a bit. I'd say in the last three months, I've exercised a hell of a lot more and pushed myself much further than I've done before in the past because uh, the way I looked at it, you know, if the zombie apocalypse comes and I need to bug out, I need to bug out. I got to go. I don't have time to sit around here and go, oh, my aching feet, my aching back, my, I farted too much, whatever. <laughs> my head explodes, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be zombie food, so I need to, when I get ready to peel out, I'm, I'm gone. I'm going to be like Wiley, uh, the roadrunner, man, out. Wally Coyote left in the dust. Zombie food. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm acting too damn silly. I'm acting too damn silly. 
anyway, that that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun, you know, going over there and coming back again, actually. My husband isn't here today. He went up to the reservation to get his uh, second vaccination shot. So I imagine when he comes home, he's not going to be feeling too good because everybody I know, or that we know, that, you know, because we all know a lot of older people, everybody that we know that are, you know, getting those shots, the second one makes him ill for a few days. You know, so I suspect it probably will for him too. So I figured if I'm going to do this, I better go do it, get it done. And uh, now I don't have to worry about, you know, this being still in the package, which, you know, this this really was the first chance I had to go and get a frame. And I could have ordered one off of Amazon, but I was like, man, you know, I want something different. I, w- I want to go pick out something different for this. And, and, and as far as I'm concerned, it's well worth it because, uh... <clears throat> I'm I'm very pleased with the result. I don't know if I turned it this way, if it would look any better, you know. But really and truly, man, that as far as these kind of things go, <laughs> that's some class right there. It's it's really a, a a very cool, you know, autographed photo. And I think I I, I did good getting a uh, a frame for it. glare on it but what the heck anyway i'm happy with it and i'm fixing to go do some yoga so i can work these kinks out of my bod it was nice walking with y'all today